before I arrived at NYDC, I kind of felt just a little bit out of place in my normal life. And since day one, actually, since I got here, I just totally felt at home. There's a commonality there because we're all doing what we love, which is dancing. And we're all working towards the same goal and that unites us. In the past, dancing was something that I didn't really tell people about and didn't really feel like I could share it. So coming to NYDC was somewhere where I could just share my passion for dance. When I arrived at NYDC, I was quite overwhelmed by how individual everybody was. There were so many different styles and backgrounds and experiences. I did find it quite intimidating at first because you do compare yourself to other people a lot when you see how amazing everyone is. At first, it can be really hard to feel good about yourself when you're surrounded by so many like amazing people. Um, but with NYDC, I feel that you learn to let the talent and the individuality of everyone really inspire you instead of like deflate you. You kind of see that everyone's got their own qualities and you've got your own quality. I'm interested in how personality comes out of a collective experience and I, I'm interested in, in this separation between I'm part of a group but also what makes me unique. We have a very various cast. They're all coming from very different backgrounds, very different training. They're, it's probably people that would never be together if they wouldn't be here. And I, I, when we auditioned also the company, we felt it would be important that there's a really singularity, singular people. I'm not interested to create just a group of like and make everybody look the same. Although at the end, what we look is to is the common rhythm and um, is to be part of something, part of something bigger than yourself. Dancing in a group is like being one body, uh, especially because we do a lot of dancing that involves breathing. So it's almost like we are creating this one being. The energy, oh my gosh, it's, it's quite overwhelming. <laughs> it's just a bit like, sometimes you have those moments where you're like, wow, we're like there's so many of us. I find it really empowering, like when we're all dancing together. We're like a powerful, uh, strong group, like we are the warriors. I know that alchemy is a very complex thing and I really realise also in my experience that how much your uh, moods, your influence, your, your personality has a, a bit of a, an impact on, on how much we contaminate each other and how much it is we have to be careful with uh, energy in the studio. Everyone has their off days, but it's sort of like the collective energy that really pushes you to go past that. When you're a part of a company, you kind of have to adopt like a give and take nature. So you're learning from other people, but you're also kind of helping other people as well and teaching them. So you have to really have that balance. We're all diverse in our own way, but we're all sharing our experiences. You're not here to be better than anyone else. You're here to be better together when you're in a company. I think I've learned that to be a professional dancer, you have to be really self-disciplined. And, you know, you can kind of be there waiting for praise, but you need to be able to find the good qualities in yourself because the artistic director doesn't have time to go around to 40 people and tell you what you're doing right. You have to learn to not just think you're going to improve by repeating things. You have to learn to be really analytical and learn from your mistakes. Um, it's a lot harder than other things I've done in the past. It's overwhelming for everybody because it's, there's such an amount of information because it's a very short process to make a full evening work. I put myself in their shoes sometimes and I'm like, oh my God, that must, be, that must feel too much. But I also love to see them getting out of their comfort zone and, and discovering things out of the blue. It's not like this. It's more, it's already more the head, it's already more involved. Open, open and side, side. What I love the most is see how much when one discovers one thing, the whole group goes like, yes, and it feels like it, it becomes a hero for a second. And this generosity, I wouldn't say disappear after, but definitely gets dimmed a little bit. And I don't see competition. I feel just a, a sense of, uh, of, yeah, of real support. What makes a good company? Uh, I would say uh, diversity uh, is a strong tool uh, of a good company. Collectiveness, I think collectiveness is, is the key to a company. I'd say your compassion would be a strong one. You have to be responsible for, your, for, for yourself and 
for other people as well. Unity, dedication and love.